What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Hips Too Smooth. And we back at it again with another banger. All right, so we got a little press work versus Travis Hunter, number 14 from Alcorn State. All right, the technique he's going to be working is a pierce that, okay? However, he does this wrong a little bit, okay? He still ends up in good position, though, all right? But let's break it down. All right, with that being said, he moves, you pierce that, right? You're maintaining that relationship with that inside hip because he's inside leverage. All right, so right here, I can tell he's lined up too close, all right? Because he has to start moving backwards while trying to go lateral at the same time instead of just being able to be, you know, far enough where he can see the release and just move mm -hmm. lateral, okay? All right? Now, he's not getting enough lateral step, though, either. So even if he was lined up that close, he has to be able to... You see how he's just, like, basically using his feet? He got to bring... You see how his butt's to the right? You got to bring that core. You got to bring everything with you to the left. All right, guys? Everything with you. Then he punches at the wrong... With the wrong arm trying to almost grab him and then switch back, all right? I don't think that was his technique, a switch jam. I don't think he was working a switch jam because the feet weren't right in that situation, guys, all right? Now, the receiver gives him a good dip. His, his jam, look at the jam placement. This is why we say in the collarbone, guys, and you have to be accurate. You have to practice this. It's on the back of the shoulder pad, and the guy already dipped. So now he's coming up, and look. It puts him straight out of phase, guys. Now, look, your job has now become, hey, I have to fight to that top shoulder. So to that right shoulder, guys, okay? I have to fight like hell. Fight like hell. I'm not looking at him. You see how he's more focused at him? He needs to be focused on getting up the field, okay, guys, so that he can be in a good position, all right? Now he's totally out of phase. You know, but athleticism and size still keeps up. Look, he's still almost in that play. All right, so imagine if he just cleaned up a little bit of those technical errors. Let's go over it again. So Pierce that, when he moves, you move, all right? But we got to be a little farther off, a yard and a half to two yards off in press. All right, guys? All right, when he moves, you move. Lateral movement, we got to bring our whole body, our whole core, guys, all right? Make sure that we're really accurate with our punches, guys. Punching offhand jam every time. If we're working a two-arm jam, we're working one to two. If we're working the switch jam, we don't forget our feet, all right, guys? Because that is a jam technique, okay? So it has nothing to do with our feet. That's why you have to be really efficient with offhand jams and one to twos before you start trying to do switch jams, all right? Now... We got to make sure that that placement is in the collarbone, all right? Then if we would have done everything right, he should have been on top of this route. Then he can look and lean, all right? Or we can play chest to chest and just make a pass break up if you're not feeling safe in this situation, all right? Because I don't recommend turning around the goal line unless it's a full strap. Like, you're way on top of the route. It just... It looks like you're the receiver. That's the only situation I say you go play the ball down here in that, like, goal line, all right, or that 20 and in, really, like, the 30 and in, okay? And any other other than that, we just play. We knock it down, play another down. But if you're in position, you did everything so right, and the receiver, you dominated him to go get the pick, go get the pick, man, all right?